Hey students, Mr. Macnick. I'd like to show you how to determine how much solute or carbohydrates are found in a potato after the results of the potato osmosis lab. So as you recall, we submerged five potato cores into a 0% sugar solution, 5%, 10, 15, and 20%. On day one, we measured their mass, and on day two, we came back and measured their mass again to see if they gained mass or lost mass. And this represents our class data. So the class data is a combination of all of these groups that measured the mass before and after, and they then calculated the percent mass change. This table shows the average for all of these groups. So what we're going to try to do is put together a graph that will allow us to determine what the sugar content of a potato is. So here's what I did. I took the sugar concentration and the average mass, and I copied and pasted it into a separate table down here because that's all I need to graph this information. So now I go to Insert, and I'm going to click on Chart. And Google will automatically know that I need to do a scatter plot. So it actually sets up my scatter plot with the sugar concentration on my x axis, my average percent mass change on my y axis. And it plots those five points right there in a scatter plot. What I need to do is customize this graph. So I click on Customize, and I'm going to select Series. I'm scrolling down, and I want to add a trend line. What the trend line is going to do, it's going to plot a line of best fit. This line of best fit will allow me to get, get a visual of approximately how much sugar is in a potato. Because if a cell was placed in an isotonic environment, the cell would not allow water to enter or exit the cell, and the percent mass change would be zero. But based upon our data, we see that all of these changed mass in some way. The closest one to being in an isotonic state was the one at 10%. So again, this represents the average mass change for all of the groups that submitted their data. So what I can do now is I can apply a linear line function to this line. If I keep scrolling down under Customize, I can select Label and say use equation. And what it will do, it will give me the line equation for that trend line. So what this represents, it represents y is equal to my m value, which is a negative 191. So my slope is a downward slope, so it's negative. So it's 191 times x plus b, which is 19. So I'm going to use this to set up an equation to solve for where this line intersects at zero. So we can see by looking at it, it appears to be really, really close to the 10%. But we want to be more exact than just looking at the graph. So we are going to plug this into an equation. So on your lab report, you should use the line equation to solve for 0% mass change. So that's going to be our y value in that equation. So our equation, the y equals mx plus b, ended up being y is equal to negative 191x plus 19. So I'm going to set my 0% mass change to my y value. So y is equal to 0%. I'm then going to solve for x. So again, simple algebra, I subtract 19, I then I'm going to get x by itself, so I'm going to take 191 divided by 19, which will give me 10.1%. This number right here gives me when a cell is placed into an isotonic solution. Based upon all of our data, we can suggest that potatoes have approximately 10.1% solute in their cells and that solute mainly being starch. So again, this is how you would go through and make your graph for this particular lab. Good luck.